Hey guys, how are you today? So we are here with another video for our Joy of Sharing um, for August. And um, this month we're gonna do sort of a technique video, I guess. I'm going to try doing a little watercolored piece which involves one of my stencils. We're gonna, I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna give it a try, I guess. Um, need to move my I need to move my water closer though. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, so I don't have fancy watercolors. You don't need to to watercolor. Um, you can use what you have. I started out with one of those cheap like $5 watercolor set, 12 pound sets, kids sets. Um, this is a Koi um, set, which I love, and I do have them. They're a bit on the chalky side, but they're not bad, I like them. Um, and they're some of what I bring with me when I'm on vacation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got some water here um, that has a little bit of ox gall liquid in it to, um, it aids in reactivating the watercolors. Um, and sometimes it makes them a little more shiny too, which is okay. So I'm gonna just give these a spray and get them wet. While those are sitting there getting wet, I have some scraps here of watercolor paper. I'm gonna grab one of them at random. And this is four, one of my stencils, four square number, what is this? Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my glasses. Helps if I have the glasses on, people. <laughs> uh, okay, four square number something, uh, seven. Um, it's one of the stencils inspired by the Black Paper Doodle series of digital images I did. Um, okay, so I'm going to lay this part of the stencil over my paper. I'm going to take one of my colored Pilot um, Eno pencils, and I think I'm going to use purple. Stencils aren't just for paint, you know. So I'm going to trace around. The nice thing about the four square stencils is you get four different images on them. And with these ones, based on the black paper doodles, they're intended to be able to be layered on top of one another. So I'm just going to trace around the image and you'll get that. Now this is just a regular colored pencil. It is not a water soluble pencil. It's not, it's not gonna move much or anything um, as we're going along. Um, so now we're gonna get our paints here and I'm gonna start with a turquoise blue and I'm gonna put it over here with some water to water it down and make it lighter. Remember with your paints, they're gonna go where the water is, right? So I'm gonna wash off the brush, I need my rag. And I'm going to just get just plain water in here. I don't want to perfectly blend everything because that's not what I'm about. I like things unblended and puddly and layered. It's kind of my jam. Okay, I'm going to take some more of that same turquoise blue, unwatered, and I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm gonna get out my heat gun and I'm gonna give that a dry. Okay, so I dried it and we added some more splatters. You could leave it at that, that's cute. And you don't have to tell me you can't make an embellishment like that because you don't know how to draw because I didn't draw that. I traced it with the stencil. You could leave it like that and that's really cute and I actually think I'm gonna leave that one like that but let me show you something else you can do. We've got more paper over here. So let's grab another one and let's do it again. Same purple pen and same stencil, purple pen, purple pencil. I happen to like this sort of organic um, sort of leaf shape. It's one of my favorites. 
So if you have stencils, you can do this. You don't have to like be able to draw anything. Use what you have and let go of the idea that your stencils need to only be used with paint. Okay. So there we go again. Same color pencil, same image. We're going to do the same thing again with the same color blue. And some water. And these would be quick and easy to make and you could use them on their own. They would make actually really great gift tags, but you could um, use them as an embellishment or, you know, I love to make homemade embellishments and have a bank of homemade things and found objects that I can add to my work and to my journal pages. And this could just be one of those and you could have a drawer of these sketched um, watercolored um, little embellishments that would be a great starting point for a completed journal page or a mixed media wall hanging or composition. Um, so then let's give that a dry. Okay. Then continue on and let's grab a green and let's just go ahead and mix it with the blues that were here. And then maybe, uh, that was permanent green pale, and that was mixed with the turquoise blue. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon yellow. And we're going to put that in the middle. Then we're going to take some more of the permanent green, make a little bit of darker shade. The idea is not to get a perfect blended image, get messy with it, and be okay with that, right? So I'm going to dry that again. By the way, tip, don't point the heat gun at your fingers, point it away from your fingers. You'll burn your fingers. And you can make an embellishment like that. How cute are those cute little paintings? They're quick, they're easy. Give it a try and see what you think and see what you come up with. Um, the piece of paper doesn't have to be very big. These certainly aren't. I'm going to do a few even probably on these um, little tiny scraps of paper and I like to make paper clips and tags and things out of you know bits and pieces and have them hanging around to do journal pages with and things. So this is going to be a great addition to my small bits bank and handmade embellishment bank. Um, what can you do with this? I would love to see. Um, don't forget to check out what everybody else is doing and sharing over in Art Joy of Sharing. Uh, the link for the, the group is in the description below. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, you can check out my link tree list of links in the description below. There you'll find all the different places you can support the free content. You'll also find the places you can follow me on social media and see what kind of art and creativity I'm up to on a daily basis. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.